Hey guys, welcome to your daily mobility flow. My name is Seth and I will be assisting you in your flow today, like every time that we do this. And let's do it. So, you need your foam roller or your PVC pipe. That's about it. You don't need any other tools today. We're gonna work on your upper back. Super important. Actually, T-spine mobility. A lot of people take it for granted. A lot of people just blame tight shoulders, but your shoulder blades being able to move on your back, like on your rib cage is huge. So we're gonna start by a little T-spine mobilization. We're gonna work on your neck and T-spine the whole time today. So we're gonna lay back, starting right at the bottom of your rib cage. You're gonna put the PVC or the foam roller, excuse me, right on the bottom of your ribs. Okay, we don't want to go into cervical extension. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna trap your chin down and we're gonna hold it in place while we open up. So I'm gonna hold, I'm open, not extending. Then we're gonna move the PVC or the foam roller up a rib just a tiny bit, and then we're gonna do the same thing. Keep the chin tucked, open up. Let's go up. PVC or, or foam roller should be getting to like the very bottom of your scapula now, like right at the tips of the bottom. Take it up one more time. So right in the middle of your shoulder blades, drop over top, but without extending your neck. Keep your double chin on. Okay, from here, we're gonna straighten your arms overhead. We're just gonna do a couple of passes on your, on your back. So upper back only, not lower back. We're just gonna go about shoulders. This is where foam is sometimes helpful, or at least not carpet. And we're just gonna shoulders across your upper back. We are not trying to go into your lower back at all. Upper, upper rib cage, upper back only, okay? Let's do two more passes of that. I just started to move out of position. So lay back. But now let's hug yourself like this instead of hands overhead. And ooh. this will make your rhomboids in the middle of your back stick out more. But don't go down to your lower back. We're gonna make a weird adjustment that's gonna take a second. You're gonna turn your PVC pipe or your foam roller towards your, uh, your butt like this. Okay, so it's gonna go up your back right on your spine. So I'm gonna go hips up. If you have a shorter one, you can just put your upper back up there. Um, if you don't have any of that, you could just like a blanket or some pillows under your spine. But either way, so chin's off, I mean, sorry. <laughs> Chin is definitely off, but my head is off, but my hips are on, my shoulders are on. And what I'm gonna do now is kind of like a scapular wall slide. I'm gonna bring my, like I'm trying to take my hands down to the ground and extend. So I'm going, trying to stay as close to the ground as possible, tucking my elbows in, hands out. I got this like W sign and then I'm taking it up. Keep your chin tucked again. A little way to work on the neck at the same time. A little double chin action. If you feel this in like the front of your shoulders or in your pecs, that's completely normal. Nice and slow. I can tell my left is quite a bit tighter. 
quite a bit tighter than my right. I need to speak up. I'm sorry. The mic's all the way over there. I need like a mic hanging right over my face. That would be helpful. Okay, last one. We should have done some testing and retesting today. Check and see what's going on with your back. Okay, now let's flip over. You don't need this bad boy anymore. And we're gonna do some swimmer hovers for some activation. We've done some passive mobility, some active mobility. Now we're gonna just activate your musculature. So we're gonna lay down. We're gonna put your forehead on the ground. So I'm gonna tell you about this real quick and then I'm gonna do it because you won't be able to hear me when my face goes to, into the carpet. So forehead's gonna go on the floor and we're gonna go hands behind your head like you're being arrested. Tuck your elbows up, keeping your elbows high. You're gonna extend the arm straight. Then you're gonna bring it to the side, flip it over, tuck your hands into your lower back like you're being arrested again, okay? Then we're gonna go back to the start. If you wanna watch me do one before you start, that's fine. And then you can always press play and do a couple of extras. So it's gonna look like this. Forehead on the ground, chin tucked. That's one. Okay, we're gonna do this for about a minute. Your own pace, but take your time. The goal is range of motion. Go. starting to shake, you're doing it right. Got lazy on that one. All right, one more rep. Maximum effort. Don't get lazy on me. Last rep of the day. Ready, go. so good it burns so good and that ladies and gentlemen is your daily mobility flow if you want to add in a little bit of neck stretching at the end you can just reach behind hook this arm and get some stretches in your neck a little bit but i'll leave that up to you um yeah that's your daily mobility flow i have a surprise for you guys at the end of this week that I can't tell you about yet, but uh, just, just know this, we're stepping our game up. We're gonna ratchet from a smooth six to a nine, easy. Um, but yeah, I'll catch you up more on that later and thanks for being here. I'll see you guys in a couple days, later.